the idea that the set is, set is always in flux, so every time we meet to rehearse, so to speak, we'll just write new music and then that'll be there to integrate into the next show so it, it'll always be progressing and then eventually we'll appropriate that into what will become an album. Well I'll give you sort of an idea of why it's set up the way it is. Since we started gigging we always wanted to have a situation where we could have a studio um, set up for writing that we could bring on the road with us. The main sort of brains is this Octatrack here which is a sampler and a MIDI sequencer and that sort of tells all of these uh, modules, these synth modules, what to play. This is a mini brute Arturia uh, mono synth that we use a lot for sort of arpeggiated, arpeggiated lines like that. It's also great for sort of percussive effects. And stuff. So you can sort of play with rhythmic ideas. Then this Evolver here is great sort of grungy bass machine. We use it for a lot of sort of distorted, sort of aggressive sounds. MFB, yeah, it's it's great for sort of effecty stuff. The great thing about the Tempest is. There's a lot of different ways to operate it while it's playing. So you can sort of be very creative with the sound on the fly and you'll always be able to revert back to your original pattern, which is great for, for live performance. Then over here, MS-20, we usually use this for, for just sort of our staple bass sounds. Uh, the patch bay is great because you can kind of improvise with how it's routing into itself. You can do a lot of things with distortion. Then we have these two Tetras, which we kind of use for just pad sounds and arpeggiated stuff. Those kind of sounds and anything that needs polyphony basically they take care of that. We can actually control all of the synths from the Octatrack itself. You can assign these uh, controllers to sort of do various things. It saves you having to hop across to the other side of the setup uh, when you can just do it via the Octatrack. <laughs> <laughs> 